Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all been asking me what's been going on with me, girl, and what's been going on with my life, how's living in Atlanta, all that jazz. So we're gonna get into it, girl, little girl chat. So if you wanna hear what I talk about, just keep on watching. Okay, girl, before we get started into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to JBW for sponsoring this video. And I have on the Crystal 28 watch, y'all. Hey, girl, so this is the Crystal 28 watch. I love this watch because I love the square face. I love that it's iced out all around like an icy bracelet. And this watch does come in three different colors, silver, rose gold, and gold. So JBW watches are my favorite because they have real genuine diamonds in their watches. And this one in particular has 12 real ones and it's surrounded by a thousand Sarbosky crystals. So yes, girl, you're going to get that icy look that you want. Looking like a girl boss, a girl that's on her money-ish, okay? Every time I put on this watch, it just makes me feel like such a boss. It elevates my outfit every single time. It just makes me look more expensive, more luxurious. And I just love the feeling that I get when I wear this watch. You won't be disappointed in this watch. It's such a good investment piece. It's timeless, it's classy, and girl, to top it off, the quality is amazing. I've been having this watch for a while now, and it has held up so so, 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 so good. It's still looking so shiny. I love that it never looks cloudy or dull. And also, the watch will come in a cute little storage box. Mine's is custom. But it does come in like a good storage box where you can store your watch, where you can just, you know, store it and, you know, it won't get dusty or anything like that. So that's what I love about JBW's packaging. So you'll be able to get your own timeless piece. All you need to do is click the link in the description box and you can use my code KyraOJBW to save some money off. Hey girl, what's poppin'? I already did an intro, I already know. So anyways, we're just gonna get started into this video, this little life update. Because I haven't really sat down and really talked to y'all since some things have happened and I've been going through it. I've been really trying to get my mental health together and I'm, I think I'm back. I think so. But anyway, so I'm just going to do my makeup and talk. Um, I asked y'all to ask me some questions on what you would like to know as far as like, um, like any life updates or anything like that. So, I wrote down everything here that y'all asked me to talk about. So, we're just going to get right into it. I already primed my face and my eyebrows. And so, let me... I actually am starting to do my eyeshadow first. So, that's what I'm about to do. But anyways, we're just going to hop right into it, okay? So, I want to talk about living in Atlanta. Like, what are the pros and cons? How do I like it? is it everything that i thought it would be yada 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 that thing girl okay so the pros is out here in atlanta you can really make a lot of money like you can really just come here and you know get to the money for real you if you not even actually working like an office job you can go be a bottle girl they make so much money you can sell clothes like go anywhere and just hustle your ass off to get to the money out here and that's what i really like it's so much money out here that'll definitely motivate you to stay on your shit and just you know stay on it and i like to that's what i like to surround myself around like like being around people that you know send to the money so around here it's really a lot of cap shit like it's really sad like <laughs> It's really a lot of cap shit out here. Like, people just feel like you gotta have jewelry. You gotta have a G-Wagon. You gotta go get your teeth done. You gotta look like this. You gotta get your boobs. You gotta, you gotta get your body done. Which, I got my body done, of course. Which, I personally wanted for myself. But people act like you gotta have all this stuff to be lit. Like, no, you don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
Like, I don't even have half of that stuff. I don't even have no car. Y'all asking me, like, oh my god, why you don't have a car? Like, blah, blah, blah. Baby, I don't have no rush to go get a car. First of all, it's a lot of people out here stealing cars, breaking into cars. It's the crime rate on cars and stuff is very, very high out here in Atlanta. But also, I'm still in the process of trying to do the car thing as like an entrepreneur and having it in my business name and stuff like that so that's why it's really taking a while because girl i would have been having my shit rolling around here in these streets that's really what it is out here though like people are so weird and <laughs> like you're being weird to me like it's just very very cap and like i don't know it's just it's weird but i don't care because i'm not my own person at the end of the day i don't care what anybody has to say about me or think about me that's probably why i in the beginning when i first first came i think i had like a little talk with myself like girl you need to relax like i was like going everywhere girl i was missing out on doing my work i had like a little pep talk on my youtube channel <laughs> what did i say to myself i said girl you need to relax you need to calm down you do not need to be everywhere every weekend like so and that happened in like the end of february i don't want to be in a scene no more like i'm good like i just need to focus on work so that all happened and then i just got too comfortable on like not being social i guess you can say i was mean i am very much comfortable being in the house girl and that's bad i literally would rather travel like now i live here in atlanta i'm like I'm gonna go somewhere like I just really got comfortable with being in a house like in my own bubble and stuff like that and that brings me to like people were asking me like is it easy to make friends out here blah 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 y'all I really just stick to my selective few people like making friends is cool and all but of course I meet my subscribers and they be like oh my god like I want to kick it like we should have a drink blah 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 which there's nothing wrong with that but you just really never know what's people real intentions for real I don't know if people just want to be around me to know my business and stuff like that which of course I love my subscribers don't get me wrong but sometimes you really do have to watch yourself like I can't be too nice, you know what I'm saying? And then also, of course, I get invited to, like, all the Instagram hype shit, like, and then, I already said this before, like, I'm good on that, like, I'm good with the cap and all that, like, people just want to go to these events just to say they went, like, I don't give a fuck, like, I don't care, like, I don't care to go, I'm not, um, trying to be in the scene. Like, you know what I mean? I want to be known for myself. I don't want to be known because I kick it with somebody or, you know, trying to be a clout chaser. Because that's definitely not me. Like, I don't need nobody's clout. I got my own clout. I'm trying to grow my own, like, name for myself. I don't, I don't need that. So, but I definitely got comfortable. Oh, shit. I definitely got being, got comfortable being in the house, not wanting to go anywhere and stuff like that which um i don't mind because i save money so i i buy chanel's and stuff like that so <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no i love going out with my girls having a little drink hookah and stuff like that every once in a while because definitely need it but i do want to just travel more and like serve looks and i think i said this um in my vlog the other day literally i was like i need to start popping my shit like i need to start popping my shit like i need to start being out here and what i mean by popping my ish is like just basically doing more trying new things and letting y'all know as an influencer i guess um on new things because i want people to be able to come to my page and be like oh my god what is she talking about right now i want to know because she always got you know she always knows like the tea and stuff like that that's what i mean i want to start doing more little fun like cute shoots like you know the little editorial looks i really like doing that and i kind of want to get more into that like y'all know i'm really good friends with royal He's a really good photographer and he's like her you need to you need to get on this like we need to do a shoot blah 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 he really does push me and i really am grateful for him he like her you need to get on your ish because i want you to be you know the top the top of the top and i'm trying to be top of the top myself so yeah so i just want to get more into popping my shit out here but these last few weeks i really been trying to get my mental health together because, you know, something did happen on here, which I'm not going to say, 
but something that did happen in one of my vlogs and we really don't need to mention it because that's in the past but like I said stuff needs to really happen to me so I can grow from it and you know learn from my mistakes you know I always say this all the time grow as a woman but it's true like everybody is growing every single day because something did happen after that I was just like damn like damn like damn I was really like damn like should I even do YouTube anymore like what the fuck like, uh, it really messed with me I'm not gonna lie to y'all and I'm just like I need to have a little reset because I just feel discouraged right now and some people look at me as like oh my god Kyra, I'm unique you have so much growth you made it out of Milwaukee blah 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 but I just feel like I'm not where I really want to be yet so I don't really see myself as like a a top girl I feel like I'm very much average um but I'm, I want to get to that level of me being on that level and being fulfilled because I feel like I'm not really fulfilled right now so I really want to start feeling like that so I need to do what I need to do so I can feel fulfilled we just doing our brown smoky eye. Y'all already know the routine. But yeah, with that being said, I am looking to therapy. And I am looking into getting like a mental health coach, therapist. At first, no no cap, I was like, ugh, therapist, like there's nothing wrong with me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't want to go to therapy. Like, I feel like mental or like I feel like if you go to therapy something's really wrong with you like you want to commit suicide and stuff like that but I don't feel like that so I'm like why do I want to go to therapy but me and my mom have been talking she's like you need to go to therapy I'm gonna look for you a mental health coach blah 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 because she knows how much YouTube can um mess up my mental health especially like with the negative comments and like stuff that may happen I just feel discouraged and I just want to know I just want to take care of my mental health basically is what I'm saying I want to feel like nobody can you can say whatever you want to I don't care I should be able to be like okay okay are you done are you done one little comment just irritates me like I'm just like what the fuck like it irritates me but I I'm learning to be like okay okay like anyway that's one person and i really just broke, <laughs> i really just broke my thing <gasps> what the fuck was i trying to do i'm crying we're getting our mental health together because it's very important for me to get my have my mental health together because if my mental health is not here then I cannot deliver videos. Like, I cannot deliver what y'all want me to deliver. Like, I cannot. Like, right now, I'm very much comfortable. I can pay my bills. I can buy whatever I want. But like I said, if I'm not fulfilled and my mental health is not in the right state of mind, none of that matters. None of that matters. None of it. So, I really need to get it together. But we we getting it together, bro. We getting it together, okay? <sighs> this youtuber life is not for the week sweetie okay it's not for the week oh my god y'all my camera stopped filming so hopefully i didn't not miss nothing that's the update on my mental and living in atlanta we're getting it together sweetie before i even was big on youtube or whatever girl you couldn't tell me nothing like i don't care i was i was that girl like you cannot tell me but i don't know why every comment or something so negative really gets me down and i hate that like i really hate it so for asking me what's next for you listen i'm ready to get a new bag and i'm not talking about another chanel okay i'm ready to get a new bag because well it's time it's time for me to get my own something my own something something very much something y'all always trying to find something to talk about <laughs> sorry y'all i'm hype off this coffee 
but yeah i'm ready to get my own something if you want to create something y'all are going to be able to enjoy in your own homes and i made it okay i really just want to do something that really makes me happy i already know what i want to do i just gotta do it i just need the resources basically i'm trying two things two things that i have in mind um so yeah um i can't wait i'm excited because i want y'all to enjoy what i enjoy and i i feel like i know what bad bitches want okay i feel like i know what the girls want okay and i want whatever i decide to invest my money in as far as my own brand and business or whatever i just want people to love it like i want an award for my shit and uh, and speaking of award y'all i'm a nominated for the a the awards let me show y'all let me show y'all my, my little invitation the american influencer awards bitch like what <laughs> listen let me play this for y'all it's loading this is my little invitation. The American Influencer Awards are back and bigger than ever before. With new awards in fashion, fitness, lifestyle, and of course, beauty. We are honored to be social media's biggest night. You are receiving piss because you are one of our nominees. Nominee. You hear her? She said, you are one of the nominees. Oh my God. Like, I didn't. Okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. You can stop. She's still talking. Hey, y'all. I can't even believe I'm nominated for the American Influencer Awards. Thank y'all so much. I meant to start this video off. I did thank y'all in a vlog, but I just didn't use the footage because it was just like I was forcing myself to vlog and I was just so, like, not in it. Like,. It was half after after it was after all that stuff happened blah 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 so i'm like ugh, no but that was very good news that lifted my spirits and it's just crazy to me like i always used to see like nikita dragon winning the award like bretman rock and stuff like that i would never in a million years and i swear to god i used to always see people getting ready for the american influencer awards going to it um and this was before all of this and i was when they when they contacted me y'all i was like oh my god like no way like because i thought no cap like i thought i had to be like obviously a woman of color i felt like as a woman of color i felt like i needed like millions of followers like jackie Aina status of course and i felt like i had to be like a girl with millions of followers and stuff and i'm only at 280 something damn near almost at 300k like i have nothing close to a million so i never thought that i would be nominated for this i'm just like what's how how like how and i just felt like i had to act a certain way because y'all know i'll be cutting up on youtube i'll be, I be cutting up and um yeah i thought i had to act a certain way and be like a certain way so I just really want to thank my girls for, you know, always supporting me. And I'm very much grateful for y'all. I'm very much grateful. Y'all support for me never goes on notice. Never. Like, never. I just want to give to y'all all the time. Like, I'm always trying to plan a giveaway or just doing, like, random stuff on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram. I be giving out free Starbucks, girl, when they ain't running up the, the tab. But, yeah, I'm very much grateful for my supporters. I really do look at y'all as, like, my real homegirls and stuff like that. I can talk to y'all in the DM. Like, y'all be like... And then y'all be talking to me in my comments. We be laughing. Like, I literally pay attention to every single person. Every single person, clearly. I need to stop paying attention to the negative ones. I really just appreciate y'all so freaking much. Like freaking. I I appreciate y'all so freaking much. I'm taking pictures today and I'm going to dinner. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get back on my Instagram wave. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna cute. So make sure you go like my picture. Cause we finna turn it up a notch, alright? Go like my picture. 
You bitches always want to do something. Carisha. I love Carisha. <laughs> so, um, what did I say in the beginning? I had a baby on blah, blah, blah. So, y'all, yeah, as you may know, I've been in the gym. If you follow me on Instagram and stuff like that or been following me, you know I've been in the gym, girl, working hard. Um, and I still have scar tissue, like, in my lower abdomen from my previous surgery. And, girl, I'm sorry. But, and, girl... It's really bothering me. So, and my I already been wanted this even before I started going to the gym and stuff like that. I've wanted um J Plasma. And J Plasma is just like a skin tightening um treatment cuz sometimes after lipo you can have loose skin. And um yeah, girl, I have a loose skin and I don't like it. So, I am looking into doing J Plasma. Hopefully um next month. Because and I hope and I'm gonna go to I'm going to a whole different doctor girl. And I'm gonna go to my doctor and I'm gonna just cause I haven't had my consultation yet or whatever. And um I am just gonna tell him like hey I still have like scar tissue in my abdomen because it, it gets hard y'all and I hate it I hate it so much and I'm gonna be like is that gonna help you going in there with the liposuction is that gonna break up the scar tissue and like make it more flatter and stuff like that so I'm looking into getting J plasma before the holiday season so yeah I'm wanting to get that done for the longest but hold on let me go with my beauty blender so yeah that's my next surgery that I want to get done so and I don't care who has anything to say about it cuz um girl I just don't like the loose skin I don't like that and also I feel like this scar tissue from my previous surgery is just not cute so and I don't like it but yeah y'all like I was saying before I really cannot wait to start, um, I really cannot wait to start creating my own brand. I'm super, super, super excited on what I want to do because it's just something that I love, of course, and I just cannot wait to share with the world. I can't wait to share with y'all. It's just going to make me so happy that y'all are gonna hopefully i'm praying you are you are because i'm in manifesting it that you're gonna enjoy what i create and yeah and also i do want to invest my money into other things as well um because i just feel like multiple sources of income is what i really want to because at the end of the day i just feel like having one income it just isn't enough i really want to be a boss ass bitch i want to be that bitch like don't play with me like i want to be that girl so and it feels so good to be able to you know do whatever i do whatever i want without anybody i want to be able to retire my mama i want to be able to buy my mama my home whatever she want i want to be able to take care of her with oh that's what i meant to say like um it just feels so good to be so independent i am very much independent i can do whatever i want i don't like depending on people for anything and i can't like living out here alone i have to depend on myself i have to keep you know going hard like i don't really have a lot of people out here i can really call and be like hey blah blah, blah. that's one thing i miss about home because i used to be able to always call my sister she would do anything for me that's why she'll she can get it whatever she wants out of me because she would be my go-to like that's my girl my ride or die i could always count on my sister to help me come through she she was the one to take all my pictures on the weekend like no matter how much she uh didn't want to i'd be like here i need to take my picture for instagram come on and then i would take her out to eat that would be like our thing 
so so yeah that's one bad thing about living out here too but but then again it does help me you know keep pushing and keep you know going towards my goals so i can you know depend on myself so i can do whatever i need do whatever i want you know without having to ask anybody for anything <sighs> but yeah girl i'm just on the way to elevate myself i just want to be the best i just want to be the best version of myself okay so somebody added they were like so when are you going to get to like the old content and y'all i was really like no cap like when i was uh um playing on my videos and stuff like that um i was saying to myself like wow y'all remember how like it would be so many like trending videos like going to the worst makeup artist doing that it was one when like you spent the night in like a toys r us overnight and stuff like that <laughs> i remember those kind of videos did stupid dumb numbers i remember everybody was just trying to create like the trend and right now that's not even a trend right now the trend right now are vlogs and people are like oh my god when are we gonna get other content blah blah, blah. and of course y'all love vlogs i love making vlogs for y'all but i really just want to focus on other content um because i really want to do more of like i just want to give y'all more of me and stuff that i like and i want to share with y'all stuff to that i like to create um of course i'm gonna always do vlogs or whatever but i definitely want to start stepping out of my comfort zone and just try to you know make a video from like <laughs> my past sometimes but some of those videos that i made from my past when i was like on the up and coming those videos are like I don't want to say like childish and I like grew out of that um because everybody has to elevate y'all like I don't understand when people be like oh my god I miss the old you blah 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 I miss when you were up the phlebotomist blah 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 like y'all do you not understand how miserable I was being a phlebotomist how miserable I was being back in Wisconsin I'm so fucking happy that you know y'all are here supporting me so I can do what I want to do and you know have a career and make my own brand and stuff like that y'all want me to be a phlebotomist do y'all know how repetitive and just uh like i hated it like i was so miserable like i did not want to go to work and it was just of course i love helping people don't get me wrong because i did want to be a nurse but like you know people it's just like how people go to college and change their major over and over like that is kind of like kind of what it is like of course i wanted to be a nurse at first but then it's like okay let me let me dabble into social media a little bit and see what it can become and i just like being on social media i like taking pictures and stuff i like to share recommendations to y'all i like trying new things so y'all can watch me do it like i don't know like like everybody has to elevate and yeah like I kind of like I grew the old content but it's one video in particular that used to be a trend that I really want to redo um, because I love getting what this is the video is about um, I like to take major consideration on what it is I like it's hard for me to describe without giving y'all the full like video because i don't want nobody taking it because i've tried to do it and i feel like it's gonna do really good so no it is gonna do good okay i gotta hurry up because i have dinner reservations y'all and i'm trying to take a picture before a lot of people are asking me do i see myself living in atlanta for forever um y'all to be honest i really don't i want to move <laughs> Like, I'm probably going to move within, like, three years or something. I don't know. Or maybe get another house somewhere else. I I don't know yet, though. Because I feel like I'm not using Atlanta to its fullest potential. So, I feel like probably once. Because, you know, I really, in the beginning, I was just partying. Then I had that little break from, like, going outside. And then I, like, go outside sometimes. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like I'm not using what i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing here so 
that's probably like i don't know taking a toll on like my decision but like i said y'all it's a lot of cap out here and i just don't want to be surrounded by that like it's just disgusting like i came across a whole bunch of people that didn't want to fuck with somebody because they don't have a large following like how the what like why like why like i would never i would never uh-uh and then people just be acting like they obligated just because they got a following like you're not obligated and you need to relax you need to that's that attitude is disgusting like no the followers don't mean anything like nothing like i'm not even pressed to have a large following as long as the people that actually follow me pay attention to me and are engaged with me i'm good like i'm good with my girls like if they are y'all are engaged y'all selling things the fuck out y'all fuck with me y'all trust everything i'm saying that's like that's what means the most to me a follower account does not mean anything to me like at all like i i would never treat anybody different because of their following or anything like that no yeah i'm ready to get into my bag i'm ready it's time it's time to apply a lot of pressure a lot of pressure a lot oh my face looks so fucking good okay girl so i just finished my makeup and i put on my outfit i got this wolford um it's supposed to be a skirt but i'm wearing it as a dress tonight i got these cute hoop earrings in and my jbw watch and i'm gonna put a blazer on it's so cute i'm going for this the Kim K Kylie Jenner vibe. This is my first time ever wearing like a blazer look. And I'm pretty excited about it. And then I'm going to top off the look with this Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I haven't worn this in a minute. And y'all, this is my favorite. It smells so good. Y'all, I lost my Ebony Woods. Y'all sold it out at the Lenox Mall. And I don't know if it's at the perimeter. But I need to go find out. Because I need to re-up on that. Because that's one of my favorite fragrances right now. But anyways, y'all, wait, let me put the blazer on. Oh my God, it's so cute. But anyways, y'all, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this life update enlightened y'all on what's been going on in my life. But I'm ready to turn up and elevate and become that girl, okay? So anyways, y'all, I love y'all so, so, so much. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye. Look at the